Welcome to another episode of Culture Shock. My name is Sean Galloway, the president of ProX80. For this topic, I'd like to share with you something that I call the Galloway Performance Progress. When you have individuals that are coming into your organization that you're trying to create competency, you're trying to help them be the best performer that they can be, there's a certain series of steps that I would encourage that you look at. Or if you have an, an existing employee that you're trying to help them improve their performance as well, consider this model also. When somebody comes in first and we're trying to help them improve or, or they don't have any training yet, they're in a state of what we'd call undesirable performance. And it's not that they're bad people, it's just that the performance that they may provide right then and there might not be as desirable as it could be. So what we do with training, with education, with reinforcement is to help provide two critical things, competence and confidence. Competence is the ability, the, the skill sets that people have. Confidence is the ability to carry those skill sets out in a way that they feel confident that they're going to be successful with this. But you want people to have both competence and confidence, one without the other, and they're not going to be as successful as they need to be. The next thing you want to look at is, does the individual have an I have to or I want to perspective? If they have an I have to perspective, often what you may end up with is malicious compliance doing it because I have to. My boss told me to change the sign, so I did. You know, why are people doing what they're doing? Or if they're doing it because they have to, you might get malicious compliance or you might get the minimal effort necessary just to collect a paycheck and go home. In the organizations that we work with, what we're trying to do is help them become excellent in their performance. And you don't receive excellence in performance when people are only doing the minimal necessary to keep their job. So when people have an I want to perspective, usually they're going to be a lot more successful with that. But that doesn't mean we can stop there. The next thing you want to look at is do they have an external versus an internal locus of control. An external locus of control is somebody who believes that, you know what, when your number's up, your number's up. If it's in the will of something else, then, then it shall be. If, it's, if it will, then it will. People don't believe if they have an external locus of control that they are the master of their destiny. And that's something that may loop back around to where doing the minimal necessary because they don't see that what they do impacts their outcomes. If they have an internal locus of control, they have more of a positive internal belief. They know that what they do impacts their outcomes. The other thing that they have is what's called self-efficacy. That means that I know that I can be successful with this. Now, when somebody has this internal positive belief, usually that then leads to where an individual can master what they have. And when they start to develop a sense of mastery on something, then they know that they are continuing to get better. They see the progress. They see that what they're doing is turning out successfully, and they feel more confident in what they're doing. And the next step that you get with that is a sense of what's called flow. Flow is a concept that was developed by a Hungarian psychologist who's now known as kind of the gurus of positive psychology. His name was Mihai Csikszentmihalyi. And what he says that when people get into a perspective to where they know that they're being successful, they're seeing the results, they get in a state of flow to where they are completely focused on what they're doing with a sense of purpose and knowing that they're going to be good at what they're doing. When people get into this concept of flow that circles back around to we have this perspective of I want to and I know that I can be successful. This is a much different approach in looking at it and saying, here's some training, now go out and be successful. Has the training really left the individual with, with the perspective of, I can be successful with this, and I know that when I'm successful, I'll get recognized. If you have any comments that you'd like to share, there are several different ways of doing so. You can post a comment here on Canadian Occupational Safety Magazine's website. You can email me at info at proactsafety.com. Or please feel free to visit my podcast and blog site at www.safetycultureexcellence.com and leave your comments there as well. Thank you for all that you do. See you next time.